We're going to look at applications of electromagnetism, and here we're going to uh, look at an electric bell. And we're going to start with safety. Uh, the bell will use uh, mains electricity, so care with the electrical current, and uh, also with any students who are sensitive to noise. And so this is the internal working of uh, the bell that we're going to look at. And here it is in the circuit with uh, here a DC power supply. And uh, to start with, uh, the contact that you can see there, number one, is actually touching the clapper arm. And the clapper arm isn't touching the electromagnet at number two. It's pretty close, but it's not touching. And the clapper isn't touching the bell at three. So no noise at uh, this stage. And when the switch on the bell, on the bell is uh, connected, the power supply provides current which passes through the coil, producing an electromagnet. That, in turn, will attract the clapper arm. The magnetic field produced by the electromagnet will attract the soft iron or mild steel of the clapper arm. And that will make the clapper arm move upwards and hit the bell. That's what you will hear. As the clapper arm moves towards the bell, it breaks the contact at number seven uh, shown there. And so no electricity goes into the coils. Even though the switch is on, you've got a break in the circuit within the, uh, the bell mechanism. Um, and so you haven't got an electromagnet. So the clapper then moves backwards to its initial position uh, away from the bell. That reconnects the contact, which then produces an electromagnet, and this cycle will repeat itself. Um, On the doors, you can actually see what makes it work. You now know enough to be able to spot how it works. I'll pass its sister around in a minute. What are, what are these obviously? Coils. Solenoids, coils, and therefore when we energise them, what do they become? Magnets. Magnets. Electrons move, they become magnets. So these become bar magnets that you can turn on and off essentially. Now then, how do you turn them off? Well you've obviously got to turn the current off. So the clever bit is that when the clacker comes in, dunk, here, just there, it breaks a contact. It's a springy thing, and the current has to flow through there to make it work. Well, it no longer works. So, once the current flows, these guys attract this. What must this be made of? Iron, Iron or steel, probably. It does become permanently magnetized. But it could be iron. Across it goes, sound. And, at the same time, that contact there is broken where the electricity to the coils must flow through. So, as it goes that way, the current's turned off and it's springy, so it returns on its own. And if you get the um, springiness right, you get the frequency right. And it turns on and off quite dramatically well. Um, I'll pass this around so you can play with it. This one's, um, like a lot of things, broken. Uh, I think I can get it to work, but you can see that if you follow the wires, you can see that this here, uh, <laughs> as that comes down, this gets broken. And you can break it even further by bending that contact up. So that contact there is made, and then down it comes, breaks the contact, and that no longer allows current to flow. So I think by. You can look at some uh, uh, neat diagrams, and you can go to. Uh, Wikipedia link there to actually see um, uh, an animation of this. And here uh, the switch is open, no electricity, uh, even though uh, T, the electrical contact, is in place, uh, the circuit isn't complete with the switch open. With the switch closed, you're going to get a complete circuit 
and we've just got the instant where the magnetic field is produced uh, from the bottom of the electromagnet going into the uh, spring-loaded um, clapper arm and that clapper arm then moves upwards attracted by the magnetic field and you're going to get your ding on the bell and look at T you've broken the contact and so the circuit actually breaks and you won't have an electromagnet so you'll go back to the first uh, first diagram so we're going to just look at uh, a video of the electric bell process and to solidify your knowledge uh, be able to describe in words or with a diagram how this type of interrupter electric bell works and maybe what would happen if you replace the electromagnet with a permanent magnet and here pause this to find out more uh, see uh, an animation in slow motion uh, at BBC Byte, Byte Size um, Electric Bell. And in grateful appreciation to Team Science at Washington International School and Mr. Godwin and his grade 10 uh, physics students.